In this video, I'm going to talk about the four types of worms used for composting, how I store my food scraps before I feed my worms, and I'm going to also show you my composting bin that I'm preparing for next year. So stay tuned. Well, hello. Here's a look at my outdoor worm bin that I have red wigglers in. And um, I'm just having these worms in here just until the end of August and to September because these worms will be going dormant or freeze to death if I leave them outside. So I will put them with my other worms. And the four types of worms that people use are red wigglers, European night crawlers, African night crawlers, and blue worms. And I use red wigglers because they populate better and they're better off as a colony. And um, that's why I have red wigglers. Blue worms are more, they're, they're quicker, but with certain type of, I uh, hear, uh, if I correct me if I'm wrong, the atmosphere, atmosphere changes, they kind of want to come up to the top of the bin. And African and European night crawlers, I also hear that they are more for the fishing, and they can also compost, but they're not as, as aggressive eaters as the um, red wigglers or the blue worms. And um, earthworms, don't use those because earthworms are completely different. They're more for the soil and the irrigation of the land. So earthworms are not a good suggestion. So the four types of worms to look into, I would, st if for me, I like red wigglers, but other people have the blue, blue worms, night crawlers. So whatever you're into, go with that. But like I said, I would encourage you to start with red wigglers. This, this is the container I keep my food scraps in. And about every week, I will give, feed it to my worms, but I also have like food scraps in here and I put paper in to help with the composting process so I have some browns and some some food scraps in there. And also when it comes to worms, I just posted a video on the plastic bag challenge. Look it up because I talk about egg cartons and red wigglers love to eat this type of product. So if you have too many scraps, there's also the compost bin method, which I'm going to show you right now. Well, here's a look at my outdoor composting bin, which I restarted. And I just poured some paper in there, and there was some greens, food scraps in there also. What I'm going to do for this container here, I'm just going to pour this in there also. For some greens to balance it out. Then I'm gonna add water to help this break down and I'm not gonna touch this for over a year until next spring and I'll use it for my garden. But um, the thing I like about this is that it's easy to make. You just use three browns, that's your carbons, your paper products, to one part of your greens, that's your vegetable scraps and stuff like that. And um, the thing about this, if you turn it every week, it'll break down quicker. But all winter, I won't have time to do that. So I'm just going to let it break down and do its thing. And then also, with the, this has been the month of August. Pretty soon, leaves will start falling off trees. And I'm going to put the leaves in here. And eventually, that'll break down too with the process. And what I did, my garden was an epic fell this year so I had to compost from that bin and I just added it all in here I'm just going to let it just break down over the winter and not touch it so this would be some nice rich composting nice rich compost for next year so and the thing about this is I don't have to do anything to it mother nature is going to take care of it and I'm going to be completely happy with the results for next year. In conclusion, when it comes to raising worms, 
for composting. They like to be in temperatures within the ranges of 65 to 80 degrees to maintain a good feasting and um, to control the, the population. If it gets too hot for them, they'll come dormant. I mean, they, they'll they be irritated and could die. So you have to always make sure your bins are within the, the ranges of 65 to 80 degrees for uh, the worms to multiply. So. Um, Happy warming, happy composting. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the box below. You guys have a great day. Bye.